My name is Ambrogio Fasoli, and I would like to introduce to you our course on plasma physics and applications. I am a professor of physics at EPFL, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, and I have the privilege of directing the Swiss Plasma Center, from where all instructors and assistants for this course come. This course will provide you with the basic knowledge of plasmas and lead you through the application to fusion energy, space and astrophysics, and industry. Most of the universe we know about is made of plasma, a state in which nuclei and electrons are set free and in which electromagnetic forces are dominant. We are surrounded by plasmas, starting from the ionosphere about 100 kilometers above us, which is connected to the sun via the plasma of the solar wind. The very tenuous interstellar space is a plasma and so are the largest objects that emit X-rays in the universe. Our life is energized by plasmas. All stars, in fact, including the sun, are made of plasma and function on the principle of nuclear fusion. Without plasmas and fusion, the universe as we know it today would not exist. On Earth, natural plasmas are much less frequent, but still present. For example, they appear in lightning and auroras. In addition, many plasmas are man-made. Most technology objects in your room are produced using plasmas. The market for plasma-aided manufacturing is gigantic, of the order $100 billion per year. And plasmas are at the core of fusion, a possible solution of one of the most formidable challenges faced by mankind today, that of finding a source of energy that be safe, abundant, available to all, and compatible with sustainable development. Different parts of the course will be discussed by different specialists, who will combine formal aspects of plasma physics with cutting-edge illustrations of research topics. The second part is dedicated to the various applications of plasma physics. We will illustrate examples of plasmas in space and in astrophysics. We will investigate how plasmas can be used for industry and for medicine, and we'll discuss extensively the topic of fusion energy. For this, we will go from the design of a fusion reactor to plasma confinement configurations for fusion, and finally, to confining, heating, and extracting energy from a burning plasma. The course is aimed at the level of bachelor or third year in science, with only basic prerequisites such as general physics, in particular electricity and magnetism, and calculus. My colleagues and I really look forward to seeing many of you in this course and to discussing together plasmas and their applications.